Hello, my name is Lloyd Reese. I'd like to take you on a brief inside look at just one section within the clinical pathology chemistry department, the specimen processing and the routine emergency automated testing areas. The analysis of chemistry specimens by the laboratory staff is one of the most important tools used by physicians in diagnosing a patient's medical condition, which can mean the difference between life and death. All blood samples are routinely collected by drawing blood from the patient by needle stick, performed by a certified phlebotomist, a medical laboratory technician, or medical hospital staff. The laboratory is a restricted area due to the potentially biohazardous samples we process and analyze on three shifts, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Once samples are delivered inside the laboratory, all specimens are handled as though infectious. It is mandatory that special water repellent lab coats, latex gloves, and other person protection equipment be utilized by the laboratory staff for their safety at all times while working inside the lab. The processing section is the area within chemistry where blood, urine, and other body fluid specimens are set up to be processed for analysis by the various subsections that make up the complex world of chemistry, which include critical care, special, and the toxicology sections. The computer-generated barcode labels on the red top tubes and other specific containers contain patient identification and test request information similar to a scanning system used by supermarkets. Before specimens can be analyzed, the red tops must be processed, meaning spun down by a refrigerated process to separate certain fluids within the blood. After the specimens are spun down, the separated yellow fluid called serum is used for analysis. Serum and other body fluids look similar after processing, so it's very important not to mix or contaminate the samples while processing. Now, now that the specimens have been properly processed, it's time to prepare the specimens for loading onto the highly computerized automated instruments for testing. The H747, which can analyze batteries of various clinical chemistry tests, tests which pertain to the brain, heart, liver, kidneys, bone, and muscle. The serum and other body fluid specimens are measured for exact amounts to be analyzed, then loaded in small plastic number cups. The H747 specimens are loaded in metal trays, and the H717 specimens are loaded in a plastic carousel. Both instruments operate off a specialized computer terminal, which has a printer attached for printing the analyzed results. The H17 is the workhorse of the section. It operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It functions basically as the H7747, but analyzes various other clinical tests such as blood sugars, cholesterol, spinal fluids, urine, and other body cavity fluids. Well, that's about all the time I have for now. I've got to get back to work. See ya.